Welcome back. Good to have you with us here at 530. I'm Jim Scott. I'm Sammy Melchok. Businesses all over the country have certainly suffered the economic effects from the pandemic, few more so than restaurants, perhaps. And here in Kern County, few restaurants have suffered more than Tina Marie's Cafe, which has dealt not just with COVID-19 closures, but also just as the restrictions were easing up a devastating fire. It must not have seemed fair to those impacted, but as 17's Robert Price reports, there's such a thing as good karma, too. This is a story of resilience. This is a story of love. It's also a story of breakfast. Tina Marie's is back. December 12th, 2020, the low point for restaurant owner Tina Marie Brown. In the wee hours, Tina Marie's, her popular coffee shop on Chester Avenue, went up in flames. Everything destroyed either by fire, smoke, or water. The worst part, Brown says, is that it put her staff of 10, cooks, servers, and hosts, out of work. It also left scores of faithful customers on their own for breakfast and lunch. Well past the grits, Tina Marie's is back in business at a new old location two blocks away. With some midweek, midday fanfare involving firefighters and politicians, the restaurant reopened Wednesday morning. At 19th and I Streets in the former home of Chef's Choice Noodle Bar. Was there ever any doubt? You stayed positive. Uh, the resilience is from the beginning. I mean, yeah, I knew we would be here. I didn't know how we were going to get here, but I knew we'd be back. Among the guests of honor at the ribbon cutting was City Fire Captain Stephen Vizard, who Brown saluted for saving some treasured artwork. This black and white acrylic of country music stars Buck Owens and Dwight Yoakam, painted in 2016 by local artist Becky Aguilar, might have sustained water damage or been trashed in the cleanup had he not acted. A photo captured Vizard the morning of the fire sitting on a curb with the rescued art and Aguilar turned it into another painting which Brown presented the paint still wet to the fire captain that's their belongings their livelihood so we're trying to save that also and so it's not a complete loss we tried our best to save the building but we all know where that kind of worked out and now we're reopening the old noodle bar it's a great location for them while Brown expressed her gratitude for that thoughtful act, faithful customers gave thanks for the opportunity to get back into a familiar routine. Kathy Talese remembers noticing a fire that night. When I saw it was Tina Marie's, I told him, I said, this is horrible. What are we going to eat? <laughs> she waited five months. Five months was a long, long dragging months, you know. Kept going by to see if there was any progress being done, you know. And then when she got this, I'm going, hey, this will work. How long a while, no one can say. Brown said she hasn't decided whether or not to return to her old location on Chester once the decimated shell is built out again, whenever that might be. Her new landlord is understanding because he's also her old landlord, Sherman Gross. We don't know how long Tina Marie's will be here at the corner of 19th and I, but for now, it's home. Reporting from Tina Marie's, downtown Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News.